Ruby. Look at that side. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, you sit. There's, yeah, there's a camera. Yeah, sit. Hey. Come here. Sit. Sit. On. Hey, on. On. Yes, good girl. Here we go, Pete. Hmm? Let's go. Ruby's getting big, you guys. She's getting real big. Good morning. And so um, it might be a little while since you've seen a video. I actually have a video about Ruby I need to record and upload about something bad that she did a while ago. So you probably have seen that already because um, I do want to upload that. Um, so to give you a little update on her, she is doing, I think, better. Uh, she is, I feel like, in her teenage years because she doesn't really want to listen to anything that I have to say. Um, she is extremely smart. Like, um, good job. Uh, she really didn't do lay down very well or down. And I worked on that with her for one day. Um, just like for 30 minutes. And like ever since then it's been reliable. So she is extremely smart. It's just I think she gets a little bullheaded sometimes and doesn't want to do what I ask her to do. So, but, uh, and now she's eating grass, which I constantly tell her not to do. Ruby, sit. Good girl. And this is the third gentle leader we've gone through since you've chewed the first two. Huh. Oh, well, she's getting a little bit bigger. We need the next size up anyways. And so um, just to give you an idea of what we're thinking about here, um, I know I've mentioned about quail before here on the channel. And I think that's something we're going to move forward with. There are a batch of quail that are getting ready to be shipped from a hatchery that uh, this has a good reputation for, be, reputation for being like organic and natural. Um, in about a week and we're thinking about getting about 20 chicks and maybe four full-grown females so we could like start egg production sooner rather than later uh, but I need to get a hutch built and so that's probably gonna be a project for this weekend to either, either start on that or get the supplies because um, it's supposed to be pretty nice this weekend in the first part of next week in the 50s and the 60s so hopefully winter's gone everybody says there's gonna be one more snow do you have to go to the bathroom or not oh wait you went before late last night so you probably don't have to go um, let's go. Come. Come on. Good girl. Um, so that's going to be a project. And uh, I'll share a little bit more about that uh, once we get Ruby put away here. And maybe it might be till after I get home from work. I don't know. We'll see. And so the plan was originally to, well, hey, what are you doing? They can't see you, but you do not need to be up on the counter. Um, what I originally wanted to do was get a bunch of chickens. Uh, I watched Justin Rhodes, and uh, one of his videos he talked about uh, producing, like, like Joe South and him, like there's there's numbers about producing enough chickens and raising enough chickens on grass in chicken tractors to make sixty thousand dollars in one summer. I was like, oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Well, I'm pretty sure you have to get like six thousand chickens, and then you would sell them for ten dollars a piece. Um, fully butchered and like ready to go. Um, I don't know if I want to butcher 6,000 chickens or raise 6,000 chickens. I mean, here's the deal. I've never owned a chicken. I have nothing, I know nothing about chickens. And so I'm thinking, mm, that might not be the smartest thing to do is just to, to go into all this and buy in 6,000 chickens. So maybe we should start a little bit smaller. So you're not getting up here. And so um, I've always been interested Good girl, good job. Thank you for sitting. Always be ready to reward your dog if she does something good or he. Good girl. Always have treats when you're training your dog and in that training stage because when they do something really good, you want to reinforce it or so I've learned. Um, I've been interested in quail and I kind of went back and forth. I was like, no, we're gonna do quail. All we're gonna do is do chicken, forget quail. And I'm like, eh, I think we're gonna do quail. They're a lot smaller, a lot less maintenance and um, they don't make nearly as much noise and you can keep them in a cage and they're happy. Like they, they don't really need to be free range to be happy birds. They're pretty simple. They don't really need a lot. No, that's not saying I'm not going to put them on grass like a, a tracker or a tractor or anything. Um, but uh, the focus would be to build a hutch. And yeah, the eggs are smaller, but overall it's a less of a time investment. And now the sun's coming in and they've got, got two different color temperatures here. Oh my gosh, look at that. 
Holy smokes. There we go. Um, and what else do I got here? I got so many things going on. But um, they are cheaper too. And I just think it's better for us right now. We might get some chickens later this summer. But I think I need to start off small and just like learn some things about fowl to begin with like chickens and quail. Um, and I know many people have quail and chicken. And, okay, good grief, son. And there's uh, nothing wrong with that because, you know, both offer different benefits. Um, you know, quail are pretty much immune to a lot of diseases that chickens have. Um, you can eat quail eggs raw. I'm not interested in that, but you can. Um, so, yeah, there's just some multiple factors that are making me consider buying quail rather than chicken. There's, oh my gosh, there's stuff everywhere. Laying coloring books, little Yoshi's crayons, part of having a toddler. Um, and so I actually wanted to finish this video uh, a couple days ago when I was actually the same day that I was recording the last clip. Um, but I had to go to work, got kind of busy, uh, and I may or may not have made some impulse decisions. Um, I went ahead and did, buy, <laughs> did go ahead and buy some quail. Uh, so we got four full-grown hens which can start egg production um, they might already be in egg production and then i got a run of 20 uh three week old chicks and so you can't tell if they're male or female until they reach like six weeks five or six weeks so i'm hoping i'm getting more females than males because uh, i'm mostly wanting these for egg production um if i got a lot of males i'm probably gonna have to buy an incubator and this is going to be a lot more of a process <laughs> than i thought it was going to be um, but we'll see. It's, we're going to see what our run looks like. The optimal situation would we, would us be getting like 15 females and five males. Um, that would be really good. Um, and so I guess we'll find out, but they should be here today. I'm recording. This is Tuesday and I hope to have this edited and edited and uploaded by Wednesday. Um, the birds are supposed to ship out Wednesday and get here either Friday or Saturday. And then I have the hutch. Uh, I've been working on that the past couple evenings. Uh, I did some in the backyard here, built the frame, then took it over to my parents' garage and we worked on some of the doors and some of the other parts and we painted it over there. That way it can be painted and sit in a warmer garage rather than sitting outside, um, especially because it's raining today. Um, and, uh, Gonna pick the hardware cloth up from Tractor Supply, hopefully today, if it's gonna be there. Uh, it's getting shipped. And then we're gonna wrap it with cloth. I'll show you guys uh, what I have done so far. And um, yeah, so made the decision, got the quail. And I do not have a lot of knowledge. I watched a lot of videos, but as we all know, you really don't learn something or know a lot about something until you actually get that thing. Like I watched a lot of videos on dog training, on dogs. Um, and then we got Ruby and she, not say is different or, or uh, surpassing expectations, in some ways she has, but um, you can watch as many tutorials and videos as you want, but until you're actually doing the thing and get firsthand experience, that's when you really learn and internalize things. Um, so yeah, and if it sounds like my voice is a little bit different, it's because it's like 6 o'clock and 6.30 in the morning um, and when I'm recording it. So actually, it's closer to 7. It's still dark outside because of daylight savings time. But um, yeah, just want to let you guys know we did move forward and we got the quail. And uh, yeah, let's go check out the quail hutch. And I just want to show you guys the hutch really quick because um, i got to get to work. But uh, this is what I have done so far. So we have it painted. Um, two doors. Go in the front here. This one's going to be a solid door because we have solid walls. And there's going to be a sand bath in here for them. And then this is going to be a door with some mesh. And then this is going to all be mesh here, uh, wire mesh that they can stand on. And they don't mind standing on the wire mesh. Um, like I said before, they're ground birds. So they'll stand on the wire mesh. They have no problem standing on the wire mesh. And then we'll wire mesh on top and then wire mesh in thick plastic on this end. So they still get light because if they don't get enough light per day, they won't lay eggs. And so, oh gosh, I hope, yeah, okay. It, it's cured somewhat, still a little tacky, um, but here's one of the doors. I'm gonna pick up the wire mesh today. And here is one of the other doors. And then this is the bottom for the sand area. Uh, the paint's a little lighter than I thought it was gonna be. Actually, it's gonna match our house color pretty good. 
but uh, it's going to be blue and then these parts of the door are going to be white and then uh, these are going to be painted white too this trim and then we might put trim um, for example around here white just right around or maybe just paint it white that way it kind of matches the doors because the doors are going to be white around here just so it has a more uniform look but uh that's where we're at so far hope to get the white painted tonight and might be able to pick up the wire mesh and get most of this finished um then we still gotta put a roof on all right so i'm gonna wrap this video up it's been going on for a few days i'm showing you guys well talking about our quail ideas and, and then jumping to me actually saying oh yeah we actually bought some and then showing you guys a quail hutch um yesterday i got our shipment of hardware cloth in and if it sounds, my voice sounds weird, it's because it's still early in the morning and I'm recording this. So it probably sounds a little groggy. Um, but we've got our hardware cloth in and put that on the quail hutch. I'm not going to show you guys that. I'm going to save that for a separate video after we're pretty much done. And then I'm going to go over it and show you some details where we got the design from. Oh, we actually got it off Chris over at Slightly Rednecked, his YouTube channel. But I'll show you the pretty much final build. But stop the track supply, got the hardware cloth I ordered. Picked up some uh, Do More Organic Chick Starter. I don't know if I'm going to raise them like strictly on organic. Um, I definitely want non-GMO and non-medicated. But it's hard to find organic feed that's somewhat affordable for game birds. Like this is 90% protein Chick Starter. Um, really it should be over like 20%, maybe 22%. Like 25% is like optimal. Um, 25 to 28%. But since these are mostly chicks, they're not going to be laying really eggs anyways. Um, and then the calcium's a little bit low, so I'm going to look for something else. But I just want to get something for now just to start feeding them because, you know, you got to feed them. Um, got a, <clears throat> a heat lamp for the three-week-old chicks because they're going to still need heat probably for another week or two. Because um, it still gets, you know, below 30 out uh, some nights. And they're going to be in the shed, but it's still it's going to be a little bit cold. So I'm not going to run that heat lamp all the time, but just to keep them warm whenever it does get pretty cold. The adults are going to just go straight out in the hutch. They'll be fine. Um, and then once they reach five weeks, they can all go out to the hutch. But, uh, you know, i got a waterer for them. Um, got the light bulbs. So we're pretty much uh, almost ready for them. And so uh, this morning, I just got to wrap some things up. i got to clean up. It's a little bit messy. I've been just working on this <clears throat> hutch for like all week. And it's just taken over my evenings. But I just want to get it done and, and out of the way. and not have to worry about it. And then we have to start thinking about our gardens. So uh, starting to move things at a little bit faster pace now. So I gotta get ready. Ruby needs to go outside. She is patiently waiting to go outside and to go eat. And plus she might wanna be outside here and tip, rip and tear around the house a little bit before we leave for the work. Um, but just wanna thank you guys for watching. Uh, sorry if this video is kinda all over the place. Um, just kinda wanted to make a video talking about why we were considering quail and then you know, telling you, well, we did consider quail, we bought them. Um, and a little bit of our outlook looking forward and the setup we have for them. And so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did hit that thumbs up button, subscribe for more videos from us. Social links are all down in the description below. And stay tuned, we got a lot more videos coming. Because you can guarantee once these quail get here, I'm going to make a lot of videos on them. Because I'm going to be interested. It's going to be new for me. And uh, we might turn into a quail channel. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, we got videos coming up for the quail. We got videos coming up for garden stuff, for other outside stuff. So you're definitely going to want to make sure you stay subscribed. Subscribe if you're not already because we've got a lot of homestead-related content coming your way, not just stories about how Ruby almost destroyed the house. And so thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.